Infidelity is a hard pill to swallow, but when it involves not only your spouse, but also your best friend, it can feel like a crushing blow. This betrayal of trust and friendship can leave you feeling utterly devastated and unsure of what steps to take next. In such a situation, it's important to remember that the anger, pain, and confusion you're experiencing are valid and deserve to be addressed. Here are some tips on how to handle the aftermath of your wife's affair with your best man. 1. Acknowledge and process the emotions. The first step in dealing with this situation is to acknowledge and process your feelings. It's normal to experience a range of emotions, including anger, sadness, betrayal, and confusion. Take some time to be alone and allow yourself to feel these emotions without judgment. Don't try to suppress them or numb them with alcohol or other vices. Instead, acknowledge them and let yourself grieve the loss of trust and friendship. 2. Communicate with your spouse. Once you've had some time to process your feelings, communication is key. It may be difficult, but sit down with your spouse and have an open and honest conversation about what happened. Uh, Before you do this, decide on some ground rules, such as not yelling or interrupting each other. Be open to hearing their perspective, but also express how their actions have affected you. Uh, This conversation will be tough, but it's an essential step in deciding what happens next. Three, uh, consider counseling. Seeking help from a professional counselor or therapist can provide you with the tools and support you need during this difficult time. They can help you navigate the complex emotions and make sense of the situation. Counseling can also help you decide if you want to work on rebuilding your marriage or if it's time to move on. Four, uh, evaluate the relationship. Once the initial shock has worn off, it's time to evaluate the state of your marriage. Uh, This betrayal may have exposed underlying issues that were already present, or it may have come as a complete surprise. Take some time to reflect on your relationship with your spouse. Are there any warning signs you may have overlooked? Were there any ongoing conflicts or communication breakdowns? This evaluation can help you determine if your marriage is worth saving or if it's better to move on. 5. Consider the impact on your family. The affair not only affects your marriage, but also your entire family. If you have children, consider how their lives will be impacted by a potential separation or divorce. It's important to prioritize their well-being and ensure that they feel safe and secure during this difficult time. If you do decide to work on your marriage, be transparent and age-appropriate about what happened and why you're trying to move past it. 6. Cut off all contact with the other person. To rebuild trust in your marriage, it's crucial to cut off all contact with the other person involved in the affair. This may be difficult uh, if they were a close friend or co-worker, but boundaries need to be set. Uh, This means no more secret phone calls or texts, no more hanging out in group settings, and no communication of any kind that isn't necessary for work if they were a colleague. Your spouse must respect these boundaries and take accountability for their actions. 7. Be patient with yourself in the healing process. Healing from infidelity takes time, and it's rarely a linear process. Some days it will will be better than others, and you may experience setbacks along the way. Be patient with yourself uh, and allow yourself to feel all the emotions that come up. Uh, Don't put pressure on yourself to get over it quickly or pretend like everything is okay when it's not. Uh, It's normal to take time to heal from such a deep betrayal. Eight. Consider forgiveness. Forgiveness is a personal choice and not something that can be forced. It's okay if you're not ready to forgive your spouse and your best man right away or even ever. Forgiving them does not mean you condone their actions. It simply means that you're choosing to let go of the anger and resentment for your own well-being. If you do decide to forgive, it may take time to rebuild trust, but it's an essential step in moving forward. An affair between your wife and best man is a painful and complicated situation that will undoubtedly challenge you in many ways. However, it's possible to overcome this betrayal and rebuild your marriage if both parties are committed to the process. Seek help, communicate openly, and give yourself time to heal. Ultimately, the thought, the decision on what happens next is up to you and what you feel is best for your mental, emotional, and physical well-being. Thanks for watching.
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. Also be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with your friends and family.